Today we have a Nonsense Wars repair thing on the Technic 879 touch sensor made between 1997 and 2005. We happened to have a lot of bad ones and we decided to see if we could fix them. Most of this footage actually came from before the robotics discovery episodes, but I didn't record this video earlier as I thought we might look at this repair some more. Speaking of robotics discovery, uh, you can use the Scout to easily test the sensors since it does not require any programming or setup. A sensor hit on the proper port will trigger a light and sound on the interface. Uh, you can see that the green sensor worked and the red sensor did not. The sensors themselves also have a pair of pads seemingly for multimeter prongs. Again, you can see that a touch on the working green sensor closes the circuit with a small amount of resistance, and a touch on the broken red sensor does nothing. Like many LEGO electronics of this era, 879 is held together with snaps. You can actually take it apart with no special tools. Here I use exactly one small flathead screwdriver. Use your fingers to bend the outer casing and wedge the screwdriver between the light and dark gray halves. Pry the side up such that the snaps clear their sockets and repeat for the other side. The plastic will bend a lot, but the back two snaps should subsequently come out with little hassle. Top half of the shells have a difference? Now we can see how the sensor works. The plastic yellow bumper pushes on an elastic switch. The black material should trigger a touch when it hits the two contacts on the outer case, but oh, this substance like has it's apparently it's lost its conductivity in the broken sensors. We aren't certain how often or what causes it to degrade, but given LEGO's track record with other non-plastic materials, I'm not too surprised. At this point, we have good and bad news. We actually came across two variants of the rubbery component, a squiggly one and a square one. The bad news is that we don't have a good fix for the squiggly one, but the good news is that we have a very easy fix for the square one. All we need to do is take a tiny piece of metal foil and wrap it around the back side of the square. This takes almost no material, no special tooling, and no adhesive. The metal foil will largely retain its shape due to its small size and the tight confines. To reassemble the switch, you literally just smash it back together. You may need to use that screwdriver to press individual snaps back into their sockets. You can also file down the snaps a little bit in order to make reassembly or later disassembly. Uh, easier. Just make sure not to file them too much. As you can see, this repaired and reassembled sensor works just as it should. As for the squiggly switch variant, we simply could not find a way to affix a conductor to the part. Super glue doesn't adhere well to the switch or the foil and a wrapping does not retain its shape on this odd geometry. The fact that the part itself distorts when actuating also hurts both of these solutions. A different glue or a different foil may lead to a workable fix, but for now we don't have one. Uh, perhaps you can oh use God. the yellow bumper as a greeble. They apparently fit minifig hands and therefore most clips, though they don't quite seem to have the standard LEGO geometries. 
Anyway, give us a like if you found this helpful, or leave a comment if we're doing it wrong. Uh, check out those older Scout videos, or stay tuned for another old set review, eventually, that uses these sensors. On that note, this is the end of the video, so have a nice day.